please select your answer for number one. So we have to find the 2% growths, so 25 minus 20 divided by 20, that is 0.25 or 25%. And for his second time, he went to 33 from 25, and that is 0.32 or 32%. So if we went from 25% to 32%, that would be a 7% growth. So the answer should have been B. Please select your answer for number two. So for number two, we know the uh, area change, but the question is what percent is the side lengths? So since uh, these are squares, if I want to know the side length, we have to take the square root. So the square root of 60 is about 7.75, and the square root of 80, the 86 number is 9.30. So we need to find the percent growth of these since we're talking about the side length. So 9.3 minus 7.75 divided by 7.75 and uh, that gives us the answer H, a 20% growth. Okay, so please select your answer for number three. Okay, so for number three, uh, we're trying to find the maximum diameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with the maximum number of the answers and see the first one that works in this equation because the, the largest number that's true has to be the answer. So if we do the absolute value of 3.001 minus 3, the question is, is that less than or equal to 0.001? Well, this would be the absolute value of 0 0.001, which is 0 0.001, and that is equal to 0 0.001, 0 0.001, and since this has the option for equal, that has to be it. So K would be the correct answer. All right, please select your answer for number four. Okay, for number four, they tell us that Y is negative four. So if we write this with the y substituted, we have that x is greater than the absolute value of negative 4. All the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4, so x is greater than 4. Please select your answer for number 5. Okay, so since this is an isosceles trapezoid, uh, we can take this uh, 16 minus 10, which gives us 6. So we can say there's 3 on each of those sides. So this would be 10, 3, and 3. Uh, since we're trying to find this right here, uh, we can assume this is a right triangle, or we know that it's a right triangle. Um, and so we can do the Pythagorean theorem. If we do the Pythagorean theorem, 3 squared plus something squared equals 5 we get that, that x is 4. Um, or you can have memorized a 3, 4, 5 triangle. That's something that the ACT likes to use a lot. So the answer is B. Please select your answer for number 6. All right, so here I'm trying to find the measure of angle ACD, which is this angle right here. So I'm just going to fill in all the current angles that are given and then just work my way. Because um, once we have two angles inside of a triangle, we can subtract them from 180 to get the third. So CAD is 76 degrees. Uh, BCD is 47 degrees. And CBG, CBG is 140 degrees. Okay, so just thinking about what we know, um, this has to be a 40 degree angle here because those add up to 180 as a linear pair. Um, so inside this triangle, we can do 180 minus 40 minus 47 to give us this 93. Then we have another uh, linear pair there. So 180 minus 93 is 87. 
Now that I have two angles inside this triangle, I can subtract them from 180, and that's going to give me the angle we're looking for. So this here is a 17 degree angle, or H. Uh, we could also eliminate J and K pretty quickly because there's no way this angle is uh, big enough to be a 36 or 43, and that's a visual thing. Um, so visually, there's no way that can be a 36 or 43, um, but 12, 14, and 17 are too close, so we need to make sure we do the math to get which one of those it is. Okay, please answer your, please select your answer for number seven. Okay, so for number seven, um, here you can do a guess and check. As long as your calculator is able to do logs with different bases, you can guess and check. Uh, to not do guess and check, you would um, you would rewrite this in exponential form as x to the negative two thirds equals one fourth. Then you can raise each side to the negative three halves to cancel out that. So you'd have x is. Uh, one fourth raised to the negative three halves, which is uh, eight. So x would be eight or g.